Okay guys, so now that we've downloaded the software for the Link ECU, what we're gonna do now is, the first thing I like to do is just update to the latest firmware before you start making a lot of changes. Otherwise, there might be things that are different on the new firmware. You go and do all your changes, update the firmware, and then you gotta go and change a bunch of stuff again. So this is the screen you'll be presented with. Obviously, you can see in the corner, it is saying that it's online. And so we know the ECU is connected physically. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up into the top here. You've got all your different tabs at the top there. You're gonna click on ECU controls. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on update firmware. And what you're gonna see in the top here is you've got available firmware. So we've got version 6.20.33. On the right here, it'll tell you what you're upgrading from to. So you can see that the moment the ECU's got a lower version than obviously the, the new one that we're gonna be adding to it. and they do advise you to read the notes first before proceeding. Now, obviously, because we've not actually set anything up entirely, obviously, it's, it's relatively safe to do this. But if you are updating, then what they, I suggest you do is you do have a read through here first before you actually update because there might be something that effectively has changed. And if you do need to change anything, you can see exactly what it is there. So each different firmware update, as you can see each section, okay, is going to tell you exactly what has changed. So if it's anything applicable to your setup, just know that you're gonna to have to go and recheck all of that stuff when you've actually got there. And if you are trying to update the firmware with an ECU that is already tuned and set up, then I would always advise you, first of all, to go and save it. So what you can do is you just go to File, you go to Save As, and then it will open up this little tab over here and obviously you have the whole all the base maps that come with the software okay and you can just save it in there so we can just save it as test version okay so that's now successfully saved and obviously then what happens is you can update the firmware and if anything goes wrong you can roll the firmware back to the previous version and then obviously you can load your file again and start it from where you were just in case. So just to show you how it's done, you're just going to click on here on the top ECU controls. You're just going to click update firmware. Now what I would advise is if you are doing this on a car, I would put a little battery charger on uh, just to make 100% sure you're not going to lose voltage. Make sure there's nobody around who's going to knock the key off or whatever as you're going along. Okay, and then we'll go from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to read the notes first. And then you'll see it's going to say we're allowed to upgrade because you've read the notes. So we're going to upgrade. It's going to ask you again. So again, super important to read the notes. Okay. So we're going to go from there. And now the programming has started. So we'll just wait for this to go through its process. If I can, I'll try and speed this up on the video so you don't have to sit and wait around for ages. Right, so that's complete and the ECU is on and ready to run. So effectively now, it'll reflash, go into update firmware, and you'll see now we don't need to update anymore. It's grayed out because we are on the latest version. Okay, so that's how to update your firmware. Hopefully that's helpful. And yeah, so it is a useful feature to be able to update your firmware. They do add you know, features and, and, and fix problems and so on and so forth. So it is worthwhile to keep it up to date. Just be very wary of obviously what's going to change uh, when you do that. And that's why they ask you to read the notes first. But that's it for now. And we'll come back and we'll carry on with the series. And yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye.